Interested in the anti-aging performance enhancing benefits of NMN? Watch this. Our first caller is Joe from New Jersey. What's up, Joe? How can we help you? Hey, what's up? What's up? Um, cool. So I was wondering, what are your thoughts on NMN? Um, like, do you guys take that? Uh, have you taken it? Is it worth it? Okay. Um, well, what is that a sex you toy? What is explain that? that. What, what is it? What, what are you is talking that? about? It's like BDSM, except it's uh, that's what I say. Is it an acronym they for take out a, the bondage a, part? A sexual move? What is that? Uh, Nicotinamide mononucleotide? Is that how you say it? Yeah, you got so it. So help, help me with. Okay, where did you hear about this? And uh, well, I got another question first. I want to ask you, Joe. Joe, how how long have you been consistently, like no breaks, been training? And what does your workout look like? Let's start with that first. Um, so I'm 41. I guess I've been like active and training since i was like 20 good deal so super consistent you would say yeah i do everything i'm not i'm not i don't go to the gym but i i do run a lot i i lift weights i do like calisthenics push-ups pull-ups awesome and then, um, and then nutrition wise what does that look like what does your diet look like how many grams of proteins carbs and fats are you eating um i don't really pay attention to that i'm uh i'm actually a student of ayurveda uh oh, good deal. so I just eat, I eat really well. Um, okay. But protein, maybe like, uh, maybe 60 grams a day, maybe. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, and what is your, how many hours of sleep do you have every night? Do you have a sleep routine before you go to sleep? Uh, no sleep routine. I just pass out at like, uh, like 10 o'clock. I wake up at like 530. Yeah. Okay. So I, I don't think you should waste your money on any of these supplements that, uh, like, for example, what you're talking about, I mean, there's some studies that show it, might, it does this, that. I, I mean, is it going to move the needle? No. I'll tell you what will move the needle, Joe. Start paying attention to your grams of proteins, fats, and carbs. Um, I would look at your workout. I would definitely pay attention to sleep. But, you know, supplements like this, look, and by the way, this is coming from a supplement. Like, I'm a, I'm a uh, I will admit. Huge junkie. fanboy. I'm junkie. a junkie when it comes to supplements. <laughs> I try everything. I use everything. But when I step outside of myself and my, you know, my my addiction to these things, I mean, it, it's not gonna do it's not gonna do anything for you. Like, you know, you're eating 60 grams of protein a day. I bet if you bumped that a little bit, you'd probably. I know you would see better results than what you're seeing now, or what you're seeing what you would see from supplementing with uh, with NMM. I don't remember the acronym, but you know, uh, nicotinamide. Mononucleotide. Mononucleotide. There you go. Yeah. I had it written up there. I know that's a precursor to NAD. Um, and yeah. I know, yeah. And I, I've heard all the all the fuss about it. Uh, you know, shows that it. Well, listen. NAD. There is a company that tried to pay us to to advertise for NAD, and none, none of us were impressed with the, no. the research around it as far as the the real benefits. But here's the thing. Well, that's you, why. That's why I wanted to ask you guys because there's just so much information out there, and it's all it's all yeah. confusing. Uh, yeah, yeah. You know, here, here's the thing. With I mean, for me, the 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 way I kind of look at it, tease it out. Uh, I mean, Sal's right. If you're if you're not tracking sleep, you're not tracking your macros. I mean, you're gonna get you're gonna see more gains in in whatever you're pursuing just by by simply doing that. There's the other side too. Uh, you're 41 years old. You're probably pretty established. If you got a decent income and you can burn you know, a few hundred bucks a month and it ain't a big deal. Uh, and so long as all the research is pointing that it's not harmful or dangerous, then fuck it, play with it. I don't care. You know, that's kind of how I would, yeah. I would treat it. But I, I, the, I, when we address supplements on here, there, there's always so many other things that, that somebody who's looking for the competitive edge or wants more from their workouts, there's so many other things that we can do that doesn't require you spending any money that will give you way more return than anything that's on the market, minus you know illegal drugs, right? Yeah. So obviously, well, even drugs. You put someone on anabolic steroids with a shitty diet. Yeah, you're right. That's fair. Bad training, and they're not going to do as well as someone with good diet, good training, who's natural. And that's anabolic steroids. You know, and, and here's the other thing too to pay attention with studies. Look, you 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 practice Ayurvedic medicine. I'm probably preaching to the choir right now, but on a on a you know we could on a physiological level we could say. Wow, increases antioxidant, uh, you know, activity and mitochondrial function. Okay, but what does that mean? Because there's, there's yeah. so complex. There's so many downstream and upstream things that get affected when you change something. So I can I can say to some, I can look at a test and say, wow, uh, protein synthesis went up, right? But what does that necessarily mean? It, could it mean we're building more muscle? We don't know yet. It could mean. Uh, it could mean a lot of different things. It could mean more inflammation, depending on the context of the of the individual. So, 
in NAD, you know, and it's precursors, there's studies, but it's not, look, I'll tell you what, if you want to improve mitochondrial function, which is one of the main selling points, supplement with creatine. Creatine is thousands and thousands of studies have been done on it over the, over the past few decades. It's very well studied. Some of these other compounds, not so much. And many of the studies that they have are done on animals and very few are done on humans. Um, not saying it's dangerous, probably not. But uh, it's it's kind of a waste of time unless you're admittedly like me, where you're just like this is fun. I like to mess with things. In which case, it's a go yeah. for it and kind of see what happens. But if I'm coaching you, if I'm training you, you know, I'm if you're perfect in everything, that's when I'll say, all right, let's have some fun. If you're not perfect in everything, I'm say, well, let's focus on this other stuff first because you're going to get way more out of you know, changing these things than just, you know, been taking this, this, supplement. I'm out just cause it's like, I have to say I'm having fun with nads. I'm done. <laughs> Stupid. Yeah. Just, it's, Justin, it's done. Justin takes nads all the time. Yeah. So yeah. So there's nads yeah. out my mouth. That's pretty much it. So now I, I want to give you something because I know we kind of hammered you a little bit. Uh, it sounds like your, your fitness goals are overall fitness and performance. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay. Do you I was any- just curious about it. Yeah, I, I actually started taking creatine because of you guys. So that's the that's the the one supplement I think that'll make I definitely will kick the crap out of, uh, and NMM uh, in terms of uh, you know mitochondrial function and performance. Do you have Maps Performance? Because I think that would be a good program for someone like you. No, but I'll check it out. We'll give it to you. We'll send that to you, Joe. Ah, oh, sweet. No problem, yep. Joe. All right, man. Thanks for calling in. I appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Take care. Yeah, dude, the supplement industry has really done a number on people. <laughs> I knew where, I knew right where you were going. <laughs> you knew, so, right? Yeah, yeah, right where you start asking them. Like, it's like sunlight. Uh, it's so true. Outside. And I know we. I, I know. I could have gone down a list of like fifteen. Yeah. Things and I know it. some people that like drop in that haven't listened to the the all of the podcasts and stuff like that would be like, oh, well, you guys are sponsored by supplements and you talk about supplements. It's like, yeah, yeah. but in the context of. If you're doing this, then okay here. Or if you're missing these things, then this makes sense. Like, yeah. not like you should take this to build muscle, or this is the best mm. thing for burning body fat, or this is, you know, it's like there's so many other boxes yeah. that you can check first before you go try some new supplement that's on the market right now that everybody is touting as the next best thing for whatever, you know? Everybody thinks they're eating well till they start tracking it. And yeah, that's that too. Just, that's a big factor that I've always found with people that are really interested in supplements. It's always like looking for that like last bit of edge yes. I and mean, they haven't really, um, you know, done the work part of, of, you they're know, looking for the shortcut. Yeah. It they're is. looking for the shortcut. They're it, looking for something that is going to give that type of return that you're talking about, but they don't want to do that work. And it's like, listen, if you really want to see some benefits, man, let me tell you, you know, track, track your food and dial in your sleep routine and I, there's nothing on the market that I could give it's you. Move you much further. There yeah, ain't nothing. And, and again, the the the, the, so, the functions of the human body are so complex. We 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 know some of it. We know we know the tip of the iceberg. We don't know majority of how things interact with you because there's so many things that are influenced by other things that we could change one thing and measure that and say it's good and not realize. This is why so many pharmaceutical drugs get pulled off the market because. It does its targeted thing, and we find out later, oh, shit, it increases risk of stroke or looks like this might make Alzheimer's uh, more pre- prevalent. So we have to pay – look, I'll give you an example, right? mTOR. We measure mTOR, and when mTOR goes up, you build more muscle. If mTOR goes up in a pro-cancer environment, you get a higher risk of cancer. In a healthy environment, you just build more muscle. Does that mean mTOR causes cancer? No. Does that mean mTOR is always good to have up? No. It depends on the context. It's very, very complicated. And so that's why when we look at studies and we're like, oh, this supplement increases antioxidant capacity or, or, or you know, activity, or this one does, you know, it reduces markers of stress. Well, that doesn't necessarily mean, you know, ibuprofen reduces markers of inflammation very effectively. Take ibuprofen all the time, you'll notice your joints will start to break down and you'll start to get problems because you need those markers, right? So it's very complicated, and a lot of these supplements sell their products based off these studies that are very narrow, and they're almost all very narrow. We want to look at the whole picture and have some length of time with people using it. That's why I use creatine. Creatine has been you know, decades, and it's been studied so many times, thousands of studies, peer-reviewed. That we're we're pretty sure we know what it does. Well, especially a supplement like this, like this would fall. I'm assuming this. I don't know anything really about it, but I'm assuming that it falls under the performance category. Yeah, people are like that. The biohacking right now, that that whole community uses stuff like this. So right, but I mean, it's 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 more based off of, of enhancing performance. It's not a supplement because most people are are not getting whatever it is in their body and they need this. It's sold as uh, slows down the aging process, mm. uh, reduces the negative effects of aging, may increase. 
um, your your overall health and longevity may improve endurance. There was one study that showed a, an improvement in endurance with some athletes, um, but that's how they're selling it, right? So, and I've like I've messed with everything, and I've taken this. Uh, we all did for a while. I didn't notice anything, mm. and that's happened a lot to me. It was, doesn't mean it doesn't work, by the way. That's just me. Um, but man, you you got to look. You're trying to make your car go faster. Like, stop putting stickers on it and a spoiler. Like, it's the engine. Let's focus on that first, and then let's move down the line of the most important things. Like, your four-cylinder, you know, gas-efficient car, and you're trying to slap a spoiler on it to make it have better performance. You're wasting your money and your time. Well, that's why I was asking that, because the next step, you, after you track, after you do think big rocks like sleep and stuff like that, the next thing would be to actually find out if you're deficient in anything, right? right. If there's something that your, your body needs and you're missing, whether right. it be vitamin D, zinc, or iron, something that you're not getting enough of, magnesium, and that can make a big difference in your sleep, health, performance. Like, to me, you're better off looking – one, two, it's a lot cheaper, by the way, too. Most of those yeah. supplements are relatively cheap to supplement with. And you're giving your body something that you've tested for that they go, oh, wow, yeah. I'm under – I don't have enough vitamin D. That is so important for so many different functions. Yeah. That, okay, well, let, instead of me going out and getting some experimental supplement or new thing that biohackers are talking about, it's like I'm going to go take – I'm going to discipline myself to take my vitamin D every single day since that will make a greater impact. Yeah, and look, I'm going to read uh, – Doug just pulled up a study, so I'm going to give you an example, right? So NMN supplementation promotes anti-aging – M-I-R-N-A expression profile in the aorta <laughs> of aged mice. Okay. What does that mean? What does that mean? That That's means so specific. That just means that. That means that there's this anti-aging profile that we think is anti-aging, and it, it looks like it promotes that. And then here's the part the rest of the study. Predicting epigenetic rejuvenation and anti- atherogenic effects predicting this is so a, a like, lot of probably words yeah like and we don't know like we don't know if you if you change the profile that profile through supplementation is that the same thing as it's a bit looking of a at leap. yeah uh, is that the same thing as looking at a young aorta there's like three leaps there's like <laughs> yeah, three like leaps in big the, huge leaps. there's 15 words and there's three yeah. leaps in there yeah <laughs> none of it is human related Hey, if you enjoyed that clip, you can find the full episode here or you can find other clips over here. And be sure to subscribe.